Hey guys, welcome to Keys. Net. What? What? Your shirt. My... <gasps> Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Oculus VR has finally given an official release window for their Rift headset, along with images of the final consumer version. The Rift will begin shipping in Q1 2016, that's sometime between January and end of March for laypeople. More info about the Rift's specifications, controllers, and made-for-VR games will be released in the weeks ahead, according to Oculus press release. A 2016 release means they'll be lagging behind HTC and Valve, who are set to release the Revive, Revive headset this Christmas. What happened, Oculus? You're getting beat by a headset that I don't even know how to pronounce. What has Facebook done to you? Speaking of official announcements, AMD officially confirmed that their R9 300 series GPUs featuring high bandwidth memory will launch in Q2 2015, which gives them till the end of June. This info was leaked like crazy beforehand, but this is the first time AMD has confirmed it. What's more interesting is the specifications for the R9 380, 370, and 360, which were released by AMD during their financial analyst day. As expected, the cards appear to be rebrands of existing 28 nanometer chips. <sighs> but the 390X is gonna be new. So, ready your butts. And Green Man Gaming may be selling illegitimate copies of The Witcher 3. The retailer is currently offering Witcher 3 pre-orders for $39, a nice discount, but the game's developer, CD Projekt Red, says those keys may be fraudulent. Business development manager Rafal Jockey has said fans should not buy The Witcher 3 from GMG, as CD Projekt Red has not sold them game keys and they don't know where GMG got them from. So while it is a good deal, maybe you should hold off until this is sorted out. Or just not pre-order things. We've talked about this. What are you gonna hear? Google has scheduled a talk on Android M at their I.O. conference at the end of May, so we'll stay tuned then for details about the next version of Android. Security firm I.O. Active found another massive security risk in Lenovo computers, but it's been patched, so make sure your Lenovo system is up to date. EA has announced Mirror's Edge 2 will release in early 2016, and yes, I'm just reporting on that because I'm super hyped for it. And some developers of the original X-Wing games have launched a Kickstarter for a game called Starfighter Inc. that promises to capture those old games' spirit with a tractor beam. Okay, I added that last part. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked below. Today is the last day to enter NCIX's 19th anniversary sweepstakes. The grand prize is an ultimate gaming setup worth over 2,000 bucks. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the NCIX newsletter, but you can like NCIX on Facebook and tweet for more entries. Click here or the link in the description for more details, and don't worry, this isn't the last you'll be seeing of giveaways around here. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, excuse me. I need to go unravel the mystery of this t-shirt. What does it mean? It's just a triangle, man. You're one of them! <laughs>